getting into the flow of manifestation, getting into the flow and the rhythm of creation sometimes can feel like you are going over the edge of a waterfall. Sometimes it can feel like the energy of the universe, your energy, the energy of others, the energy of trauma healing, of shadow work, of all of the components, creation, even in and of itself. Sometimes all of that energy can feel so enormous. You sometimes, when you get on this path, you once you really get on it, once you really start diving in deep and doing your work, what can happen often is we end up in this space where we've released the dam, where we have all of a sudden taken the, the gloves off. We have unblocked all of this energy that has been pent up all of these emotions, all of this desire to live an absolutely magnificent life. And all of the sudden, it literally just gushes. <laughs> it just, it goes over the edge and we can't stop it because it has unleashed the the it that i'm talking about is the universal life force that must always must always flow you see this creation energy this life energy this manifestation energy it knows no bounds it doesn't just want to stop at the edge of the cliff it doesn't want to just stop at the at the beginning at the at the way back at the shoreline it wants to literally rush and run over and it seeks expansion this energy seeks to be expanded this energy seeks to be free this energy seeks to go and create and destroy all at the same time it seeks to nurture, nourish, and wash away and cleanse all at the same time. It's a simultaneous feeling. It's a simultaneous action. It is like unto water. So if you think of this as this crystalline kind of like sea of, of just energy, and sometimes it flows in a trickle, like a stream or a creek, but that's when it's its least powerful. That's when it's so condensed. When it is literally gushing, when it is literally flowing, when it is like rapids and it just can run, that's when it is at its most powerful. That's when it's at its most magnificent. That's when it's at its most majestic. That's when it can simultaneously destroy, tear down, cleanse, remove. Did you know that water is one of the best, if not the best, cleansing agent you can use? Better than bleach, better than peroxide, better than anything in a pinch for sure. If you swirl water around in a container if you run water on a wound or run just run water on a piece of cloth that's stained the water molecules themselves because of how they're formatted because of their magnetism because of their demagnetism because they have the capability of just unlocking all the other atoms because it has that power, right? It literally can begin to morph and move and it's, it, it, it kind of wiggles its way into things. And when it's running 
boy, it just bulldozes. It is an amazing cleanser. So the same is the spiritual water, is the spiritual ether. It is the most amazing cleanser when you allow it to come in and go whoosh. But then as it goes whoosh and there's nothing left to cleanse or there's little and it comes into a really cool rhythm, then what happens is it slows down, right? It slows down. It says, okay, this is cool. I've cleansed it. And now as it becomes, it's becoming still or it's getting ready to be still. It's Now it's like, okay, how deep can I go? What's on the other side of this? How deep can I go and yet still be in the flow? How deep can I go and yet still be in the flow? the flow and that's what we're wanting you to get to that's what I'm guiding you towards this expansive space where you allow all of the millennia of your energy to rush in to this incarnation to really do the culmination of thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years of evolution, of revolution. All of those millennia spent on multiple different timelines and they're all actually going on at the same time, allowing it to all rush in so it can fill up the expanse that is you in this moment. So that you can can float, can, can swim, can fish can sail on the grand ocean of possibility where you cannot possibly see the depths because you can't see to the bottom of the ocean can you or even a deep lake you can't see at the to the bottom of it with your naked eye but you know that there is a bottom but it doesn't matter because There's an infinite number of drops in the sea that you cannot count. And I want you to know that each drop of this crystalline ethos, each drop of this magnificent water, each drop represents another piece, another manifestation, another another bit of energy, another piece of the puzzle that's going to bring you stillness, that's going to bring you wholeness, that's going to bring you joy, that is going to be consistently flowing. But instead of a rushing rapid and going down this this powerful waterfall, now the power then becomes understated because why you're just floating. You're literally floating. You're just floating along. You're floating along in this sea because you know that you are buoyed up. You know you are held up. You know you are supported. And you know at any moment in time, if you're thirsty, you can reach down and drink. At any moment in time, you can take some of this water and you can sprinkle it or pour it onto the sea that you've planted and then it will take root. And at any given time, you can wash away any of the other issues that may pop up. At any given time, you have a deep well from which to draw and you can float on the expanse and you can flow fluidly with ease in the expanse of your ocean of your lake of your sea flow don't stop just flow. Namaste.